I stand here at the crossroads, the moon high in the night sky. I stand in my three forms as maiden, mother, and crone, guiding the way with my hound. Are you ready to accept what is right now, or do you want to walk firmly in the direction of possibilities? Take a moment to breathe, to focus on your attention, and let us guide you and surrender with action taken. Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing as we continue our exploration of the major arcana through the dream oracle. So we're up to the chariot. This is card number seven. Okay, so let's have a look. What does it say? Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. James Dean, 1931-1955. The image, assigned the number seven, which is considered by many to be the number of perfection and the control of magical forces. This card shows a young charioteer ready to drive forward, two sphinx. One is black and one is white, indicating any two polarities, active, passive, good, evil, negative, positive, and so on. In his hand, the young man holds a, se a scepter or a rod, while on his shoulder pads are representations of truth and revelation. These are the divinatory tools that are said to sort believers and non-believers from one another. Another aspect of choice, his headdress is the eight-pointed star, signifying the gifts of knowledge still to come. Waxing and waning moons form part of the shoulder pad, symbolizing increase and decrease. There are also several other representations of jewelry in this card, such as a symbol on the front of the chariot representing the lingam within the yoni, a Hindu symbol suggesting the sexual act and source of all life. The significance, the chariot symbolizes choice and decision, followed by a triumphant ride. Any charioteer must first control the drives and aspirations inherent in his two horses and his own competitive nature and must have a former work as a team towards a common goal. The charioteer's armor is protection. His skill is not in question, yet he must call on his own experience to formulate the best way to move forward. When our traveller meets a chariot on his journey, he understands perhaps for the first time the true meaning of responsibility. If he is to triumph over difficulty, he must make the right choices and be able to justify his decisions. These are not now just about him, but are about the welfare of others and the effects his decisions will have on them. The symbolism is of the will, but of the will tamed. Associations and Secondary Images the main association of the chariot is of the Greek sun god Apollo, driving across the sky in triumph. It is also the concept behind the story of Buddha and his cart drawn by the white ox, that of being true to, the, to ourselves. The chariot card is ruled by cancer and the moon. The inherent qualities of nurturing and caring are uppermost, having overcome the potential for destructiveness. The armor and belt. The armour is shown as being quite ornate, designating the charioteer as being able to defend himself. The belt, however, although it is a sword belt, does not seem to carry a sword, so it would seem that it is more a mark of attainment than a practical object. Castle or citadel. There are two representations shown to the right and left of the main image, one with much softer lines than the other. They again signify the duality of the masculine-feminine balance between the rational and intuitive. The headdress, looking almost like a miner's lamp, the light on the charity's forehead suggests intellectual en enlightenment and clarity of purpose. It references the star, a later card, which stands for its own personal truth and awareness. Thinks these crucial images represent ancient wisdom and basic drives. The charity must use strength of purpose to bring these all under control. One of the sphinxes seem more wayward than the other, and both seem to be looking directly at us, willing us to understand. Squares. The chariot itself is almost cubic in construction. This and the square on the charity's breastplate suggests a grasp of the magical art of materialization and grounding within the physical world. Winged orb. This winged wheel of the spirit, symbolizing the raising of the act of consensual sex, symbolized by the yoni and lingam, out of the mon mundane world. It gives it the status of the sacred mass marriage or union with the divine. So the key features are 
element is air, planet the moon, astrological sign is cancer, numerology designated as seven, the art of manifestation and magical meaning. Your deities are Apollo and Buddha. Keywords are will, success, eminence, and glory. Related concepts, ambition, decisiveness, control of subtle energies, movement through all planes of existence, and manifest of power in the mundane. Okay, so that's it from me for today. Don't forget to check the, link, check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.